All right, welcome everyone to my first Unity tutorial series. In this series, I'm going to show you how to make a genetic algorithm. It's something I came across a while ago. I thought it's quite interesting. I played around with it. And I figured why not make a quick game out of it. You can play it for free, as you can see in the description. And I'm also going to show you how to actually program it, because I thought it's quite interesting and it offers a lot of potential for you to discover mechanisms. So let me show you real quick how it works. We have those two gates, the blue one and the yellow one, and they are going to spawn lights. And they are going to move in a random direction. Right now they move randomly, and when this timer runs out, they are all going to die. They are also going to die when they hit an obstacle. So either way, once they are all dead, they are going to get respawned. And when that happens, they're actually going to get sorted, see who got closest to this checkpoint, and if so, who got closest to the goal. And then the best ones, they're going to clone, meaning they're going to override the worst ones, and they're, they're giving on their path. They're telling them how they ran, and then the next one, the best ones are simply going to repeat it, and the worst ones who received the path, they're going to slightly mutate it. So there's some chance they actually become the best ones in this one. And then it basically just goes on like that. The timer runs a little bit longer every time. And as you can see, they're already forming just little uh, clouds. And just trying to make the way to the goal. As you can see, this goal is green, yellow and blue. When they hit each other, they're turning green and they have to do that, otherwise they're not getting inside the goal, as you can see right here. So this is a highly simplified form of evolution. The, the ones that are going to adapt the best, they're going to breed and they're going to pass on their genes, their characteristics, on to the next generation. And every time there's a slight chance of mutation, well in this game there's a very big chance of mutation, but it's a bit faster than actual evolution. And so eventually the ones that are best fit for the environment, they're going to survive and they're going to be the only ones left over. Uh, it's a bit like real life, you know, the, the winners get late and the losers die lonely. Now let me show you what the algorithm looks like when it's uh, a lot stronger. What I just showed you, that was more or less the mid-range of the game. Because obviously I didn't just make the most efficient algorithm I could come up with. It's still supposed to be a game. And of course you can come up with your, with your own stuff. You can just come up with completely new ways. No one ever did an algorithm before. Uh, there's absolutely no limit. It's a great playground for inventors. And I'm going to show you how to make the basic mechanics. We are going to be using scriptable objects, as you can see here, for the, the details of the algorithm. And that's basically all I'm using right now is the clone chains, clone range, uh, free birds. That means when you hit that button, at that moment, they're going to create a completely new path. Actually, I'm going to hit it now. So the ones that are blinking, they're going to try out a completely new path from that moment on. Incremental is something that just increases the, the mutation. So right now it's set at 10%, which means that the first waypoints they're going to modify when they're starting out, they're only going to be modified by 10% of what I defined in the mutation range. And it keeps increasing until the, the last waypoint they have, then that's going to be 100%. That, I hope that's not too confusing. Uh, we're going to go through it step by step. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make the core. And as you can see, this is a new YouTube channel. So if I get some subscribers, some comments, any requests is welcome. I'm happy to keep going and show you how to make more and more details of this game. Yeah, so hope you're ready. Let's go.